So what happens if you find a lump? So if you find a lump, the most common place to actually find a lump is in the epididymis, which I said is the tube that leads to the testicle. You know, you need to find out what's the size of the lump. Usually a benign lump such as a cyst is a pea-sized lump. It's usually smooth, it's firm, it's not painful, but in some cases you might have a dull ache in the, in the testicle, like a dragon sensation. In most cases, a cyst can go by itself, but it can take weeks or months to disappear. But in some cases, it can become, like I said, painful or get bigger, or you might just want to know what it is. So in that instance, you can speak to your doctor and your doctor can send you for an ultrasound of the testicle that confirms that this is what we call an epididymal cyst. And usually for an epididymal cyst, you either do nothing, you leave it, take painkillers as necessary, or you can decide if you want to go for minor surgery, but it's usually not necessary in most cases. Now, the most important condition most people worry about, obviously, is testicular cancer. Now, testicular cancer is quite rare, about 1 in 250 men, and the age group is usually between 14 to 35. So it's very important that for teenagers from the age of 13, you start examining your testicles so that you know what's normal and what's abnormal. So usually you're looking for a hard lump that might be painful, especially examining the testicle. If the testicle is painful or tender, you're looking for the presence of any fluid in the scrotum called a hydrosil. You might look for other features such as back pain or you might have breast enlargement as well. So in this case, you want to speak to the doctor straight away because you need to be referred for further investigations such as ultrasound, CT scans, biopsies, blood tests and treatment could either be surgery, radiotherapy or chemotherapy. So these are the conditions to look out for when examining your testicles. Remember, you have to do it once a month, do it standing up. Best to do it in a warm environment such as in a hot bath or having a hot shower during or after. And if there's anything abnormal or unusual that you're worried about, speak to your doctor.